All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Can a Copper Prove Themselves in Gold Rank? We're going to be starting here on Oregon. Let me introduce you to both of our teams. We have got Avudi, our Copper player, on the blue team with Fat, Death Dealer, Bubby, and Chomper. Those are going to be your four gold players for the blue team. And then we've got Rude, Hayden, Kai, Pull Up, and Small for the orange team. So we're going to see can Avudi actually prove himself in gold is it just the fact that he has bad teammates or that he's unlucky or he solo queues is it any of those common excuses that you hear in the low ranks is that the reason that he's in cop right now we are about to see as everyone in this lobby here is currently gold so if he thinks he can prove himself there this is the time to do it but if you guys enjoyed this video consider liking it would mean a lot to me check out g fuel the link in the description you'll see them in the chat right now 30 percent off your next g fuel order use code shock you guys already know check it out i just got a bunch of new flavors i'm about to be trying them out for you guys i'll let you know what my favorite is check out my youtube community post to see those flavors or you can check out my twitter i posted them there the links are down below in the description but yes make sure to check out g fuel use code shock get 30 percent off the link is in the description but let's get straight into our first round you can also check out Skypad as Chopper is saying. Use code SHOCK, get 10% off. The link is right below this, the G Fuel link in the description. Can't go wrong with the Skypad. Best mouse pad in the world, hands down. But as I say that, uh, Death Dealer already dead, it looks like. I'm not actually sure what happened there, but he is he is dead. And Bubby's going to take a lot of damage as well. So this is already looking pretty good for the blue team here. I'm not really sure what happened to Death Dealer. All right, spectating our copper player, Avuti here. What is he trying to do right now? Looks like he's a little bit lost. He's not really sure what he's trying to do. This movement is very common amongst lower ranking players. They're kind of just looking around. They're not really sure what to do. It looks like he's potentially getting spotted right now. Now, keep in mind, he's looking around for a valve cam. The valve cam change made it to where if a camera is outside after 10 seconds, it gets destroyed. So there's no way a valve cam is spotting him right now. It's probably the default cam. So those little game sense things that like a, a champ player would pick up on pretty easily. He is so far not picking up on. So we'll see if that continues. Bubby's still taking a ton of damage right now. I'm not sure how. Looks like Peta is also taking vast amounts of damage by Rude, who is all the way downstairs inside of Classroom right now. I believe Small was the one lighting up Bubby, who's in the big tower right now. And oh, he's actually looking at the top of the uh, armory stairs here. If the blue team pushes in here, they might be getting killed from small who's all the way in big tower right now he could look all the way from this window all the way down to the staircase here this could be really bad for the blue team here depends on how they clear but as i say that that's going to be a run out from fat or uh, from rude and he's going to take out fat peanut bubby going down as well so it's a 2v4 now oh 1v4 now it's all up to avuti looks like my hud settings are possibly off right now but nevertheless it's the copper player left in the 1v4 can he do it he lit up a uh, pole He's pretty lit. Suppressor in hands. Can he get the kill? He cannot. Avudi's going to clutch that out. That's the kill for Avudi. The only two kills for the blue team is on the hands of the copper player. Who would have thought the copper so far carrying his team, all of these gold players so far showing that he should be in gold. Maybe he's not the one that should be in copper here. Avudi trying to clutch out this 1v3. He's got to be careful. Small is holding an angle right here and Small is going to get the kill. First round goes to the the uh, orange gold team also i apologize for the hud being weird there i know normally when there's kills that show up they they show up in the, like the top right in the kill feed i had my hud settings completely off because i was getting a thumbnail earlier so uh, there was nothing happening on screen so i was a little bit confused at first on why the kill feed wasn't there but i got it now so i apologize for that future rounds that'll be completely normal all right it is round number two here and it looks like rude is going to get very aggressive pre-fire is coming out with the spawn peak right now not even a single point of damage onto the blue team for him though unfortunate for rude he wasn't able to get any shots but good thing for the blue team as they're able to get out of that unscathed looks like they're going to try to do sort of a big tower take here we'll see what they're planning tune into our copper player avuti trying to push in through bunker it seems not really pushing with this team so far Looks like he might try to rotate the big tower. Not really sure what he wants to do just yet. All right, so after quite a while, the blue team is finally pushed into big tower here. The problem is Root is currently all over the map right now. We just saw him hop up through the hatch in kitchen all the way up to attic right now. So now the 
uh, the blue team has to worry about him on the hatch right now. It looks like Bubby's going to open up the wall here, but that's actually good for Rude, who's got an angle onto the bottom of the stairs now. He doesn't know it, but he did see... Uh, I believe that was knock just on the staircase right there. So this is really, really bad for the blue team. That hole should not have been opened up by Bubby whatsoever. But as I say that, Peta with a kill onto small. And that's actually going to be death dealer as well. Trying to push in. But you still have smoke sitting behind the shield here. And that's going to be rude as soon as I switch away from him getting a kill. Death dealer refragging onto Kai. He's going to get taken out. 4v3 now. 4v2. Chopper gets a kill. Death dealer is going to push in. No ammo on the ARX. C4 coming out from Hayden. He's the last remaining player. Can he clutch it out? He gets the C4 into Death dealer. He gets the heal as well. Avuti's going to swing. There goes our copper player. That's also the bomb down. Hida coming over to swing. Can he get the kill? He can. Round number two going to the blue team. All right. It's been two rounds. Taking a look at the scoreboard here. For the blue team, we've got Pita on top going three and one and the copper player two and two in second place. So got to be honest, he's doing better than most of his team. So you got to give him props so far. All right, round number three here. It looks like death is going to be trying to push in through bunker right now, but he's going to have to contest the Mira of small right now, who's actually playing inside of E-Box. They're going to have to be very careful about this mirror here, but he's going to air jab that off. Likely not really going to do much of anything. Small is going to be able to shoot that. Never waste your air jabs like that. It's never really a good use of utility. Unless you're using it to like clear utility. There's really no point in that. But with that being said, let's take a look at our copper player, Avuti. Where is he at? Looks like he's trying to push it through garage. Aiming at the ground. Not really sure what he's doing so far. Quick beast coming out. He's going to have to contest Hole, who is right on the stairs here. And a wall bang actually going to damage Bubby quite a bit. He's going to put on about 50 HP now. The gold's all still mostly inside of the garage right now. And as I say that, Small able to get a kill onto the air or the Nomad of Death Dealer inside a bunker right now. Grenade's going to come out from PETA, but there's likely an ADS. There isn't, but all it does is destroy uh, Death Dealer's air jab on the mirror window. So nothing too impactful just yet. Rude looks like he might be trying to go for a flank right now, and he's going to get the first kill there onto Chomper, so that's a nice kill for him. 3v5 now for the blue team. Are they able to clutch us out? Impact on the hatch right now. Avuti, how are you going to react to this? You have to at least look at the hatch. You have to look at the hatch. Shots coming out from both players here. No kills just yet, though. Both players whiffing quite a bit. Rude still on about full HP. I actually don't know how he didn't take any damage. Avuti on 50 HP. He needs a Ficka boost here. Three Ficka boost, and there's only 50 seconds left in the rounds. No utility used from Avuti so far. Pita trying to go for another nade on that mirror window, but that's not going to land. Bubby trying to kill Rude, who's flanking, but I don't know if he knows Rude's holding this angle right now. Avuti trying to come in and push with him as well, but Rude's just holding this pixel angle. Bubby actually is able to get that kill. Pita rushed into bunker. He's going to get taken out by Small, who was playing inside of uh, a pillar there. High able to finish that kill. Avuti and Bubby, our last two gold players remaining. They're going to be trying to push in down through the tower stairs right now but small's gonna be here looking through the head holes trying to stop this can bubby win the gunfight he's got the better gun definitely he also has a 1.5 hi is trying to push up right now to peek those stairs and on his last bullet he's gonna get the kill on to bubby it's all up to our copper player avuti can he win this out he gets the first kill has to reload though only five seconds left can he win this out flashbang going out running into a smoke flashed himself 1v3 no time remaining and he's gonna lose round Number three goes to the orange team. Wow, so it looks like we're gonna have a big window push right here from the orange team. This is gonna be their first rounds on attack right now. And it looks like they're gonna be trying to push into the big window. They've got Rude with the Osa. He's gonna place that shield down. Definitely trying to do some sort of big window take here, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work as they don't really have a presence anywhere else. Looks like Kai might try to push master, but it's not really wise for him to push that alone. Same with small. It's good to push out of here, but it's just him. If he's trying to open up this wall, he's very vulnerable to a flank right now. So it doesn't really look like there's any sort of unified push right now. Both the hard breaches pushing in through Master. Not the worst thing ever, but they're going to have to contest Chomper, who's inside of Armory right now, on his Valcams. Or actually, who is that in Armory? Death Dealer, who's in Armory right now. Chomper looking at the cams for him. Looks like Small is actually going to be opening up the Attic right now. He's got to watch for his flank. See, he shouldn't have to do this because he should have a teammate here to help him out right now. It's very risky of him to peek as well. The Maverick hole, not very straight so far. Not quite what we want to be seeing. Checking out Avuti's POV, our copper player here. Taking a little bit of damage from the players on to the big window. He has no impact grenades, which is fine. But he has no impact grenades to take care of Rude's Osa shield. So he's going to have to just be passive and wait. He can't die here because the second he dies, he's leaving 
this whole side of the map very vulnerable for his team but as i say that small walks in through attic and gets a kill onto chomper but or a chomper refract actually i'm sorry pull up as well a kill onto death dealer so they finally have added control lots of kills coming out there hard for me to even keep track chomper on about half hp now a voodoo on about 75 and it looks like the uh gold team despite having the numbers they still don't really have any sort of advantage right now but as i said pita with the kill to rude root of the kill onto a voodoo our copper player gone 2v3 right now but the the orange team still doesn't really have any control finally taking master and opening up the wall here chopper's gonna try to swing over that shield but he's gonna get held from pull up who's inside of the armory stairs a captain trap comes up from pita as well as a an <laughs> smg kill right there a big 2k for him 1v3 turned to a 1v1 can he clutch this out right now all he's gonna do is kill kai here and stop it from planning 15 seconds left can he do it he can't push up yet he needs to wait for the diffuser he needs to play passive kai's gonna try to push up he up picking the head holes can he clutch it out shots coming out but the ak is too strong round four to the orange team all right so taking a look at the scoreboard honestly you can't even say that avuti our cover player is the problem here he's the second frag for his team he's second place on his team he's he's statistically playing better than most of his team right now aside from pieta who's on top with six and six and three right now so honestly avuti is is kind of proving himself here even though his team is losing he is proving himself as a player here so you got to give him props for that so we actually see chomper shooting out the tarp in the hallway here which is actually interesting uh if you guys aren't aware the reason you do that is because you can kind of hear the footsteps better when they're walking on the concrete versus the tarp the tarp kind of like um i don't know deafens or mutes the footsteps a little bit so it's interesting that he actually knows how to do that in gold um i mean it, it's kind of common knowledge at this point but it is cool to see that he knows how to do that and interesting mirrors right now both mirrors inside of ebox that mirror specifically that he's aiming at very strange you never see that whatsoever those are both gonna get popped though and small with a rush into ebox right now with the blitz he's struggling to get any kills he's actually gonna down pita but chopper is able to get that refrag we're actually gonna see a push in here from rude he's gonna get two kills he's going for three right now he's about 60 hp can he do this chopper is swinging the hole right now both players just trying to win this gunfight it's gonna be rude triple kill for him all up to death dealer now on match point he's gonna have to face hayden who's walking down the main stairs right now does he know it death dealer behind you he gets the kill into rude there's one freezer there's one main too many angles for him hayden's gonna kill him out and that's ggs orange team wins four to one so in conclusion the gold or the orange team definitely did win pretty decisively at that but avuti actually held his weight i'd say he could have played a lot better but so could have the rest of his team so all things considered avuti played pretty well so far but let's see how he does in our second map all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have map number two here. We're going to be starting on Chalet because why not? We never play Chalet in these videos. So let's get some Chalet in here. It's not that bad of a map, but definitely needs some teamwork and coordination to win, especially on attack. So we'll see how Avuti is with teamwork. I know we saw him pushing with his team quite a bit last game. So we'll see if they are able to put together some strategies and hopefully play a little bit better this game than they did last game. But with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I post videos daily here on the channel like this one. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notifications on, and let's get straight into round one. All right, rounds number one here. Looks like the blue team is going to try to push in through library. Not a bad decision whatsoever. Library take is pretty standard for when the defending team is upstairs, but they're going to have to attack pull up here who is actually playing inside of library right now so we'll see how they choose to do this i'm not really sure what the blue team is really doing they all started out by library they're kind of slowly rotating they're going to the roof something you commonly see in the lower ranks is like people playing on the roof far longer than they really need to so we'll see what they choose to do right now it's already been a full minute and the library windows aren't even open not a single window is even open air jab's gonna go out from death dealer honestly you should really never air jab these windows uh windows in general are kind of useless to air jab especially two on the one window the second anyone hops out both are getting detonated and that's a waste of two air jabs so really a huge waste of utility there finally a minute and 15 seconds in and the windows are finally getting shot small with the first kill on the chomper he was prone on that canine door as soon as chopper tried walking up he got pieced up so that's gonna be the first kill 
onto the blue team here and death dealer taking a fair amount of damage as well like i said they're gonna have to defend against pull up he's playing inside of library right now and i believe root as well he rotated in as well so they took too long for their push a minute and 30 left on the clock they took far too long to even open these windows and now the defenders are rotating over to stop this but as i say that death dealer with the kill and the pull up so it's all up to root now to defend against library he's going to take some damage from pita Smart move would be to fall off right now. Just go back to site, but he's not going to do that. Bubby's going to take him out all the way from the front door. Actually, a pretty good pinch from the blue team here. Able to uh, pinch out Rude there. So, 4v3. They do have the man count, the blue team does, but they do not have the time they really need to win this round. They definitely can pull it out, but they've got no hard breacher. And the way they're playing, they're going to run out of time very, very quickly here. See a Voody kind of just like standing in the corner here he hasn't really been doing anything he was, he's been in that corner for a good like 10 seconds well isn't really doing much of anything if you guys are ever wondering what you should be doing just throw out a drone always just drone if you're lost especially on attack but death dealer are going to get killed out by small small being a complete menace on that frost right now playing inside a piano he's going to get taken out it's all up to pita avuti and bubby now in the 3v3 15 seconds left. Like I said, they're running out of time. They're not going to have enough time to do this push. Bubby trying to go for some Flores drones, but there's not enough time for this. There's only eight seconds left. You need to use your utility sooner. That shield needed to be cleared way sooner. Hayden's going to get the kill onto, I don't even know who. Bubby with a refrag. Bubby trying to walk in and get another kill, but it's not going to happen. Kai kills him out. The utility usage was good there. Like, Flores droning that shield is fine, but you can't do it at eight seconds left. You have to be in that building quick. The fact that it took them over an, an entire minute, 70, 80 seconds to just open up the library window when they were all on the library balcony is a huge L, massive L. Those windows need to be open within 15 seconds of the round starting. You spawn in, you pick up your drone, you climb the ladder and you shoot the window open and you immediately start droning. You cannot waste any time like that. And that round was a perfect example of why you need to be really efficient with your time in Siege. All right, Rude wants to show me this angle. Oh, that is obnoxious. That is obnoxious. All right, well, I guess the golds are showing me something new. I I want to say I've seen that before. It sounds va vaguely familiar, but there's so many maestro spots like that. It honestly doesn't surprise me that that's a thing, but that is super annoying. There's always, like, maestro spots like that on everywhere. Like, there's the one on uh, consulate on the spiral stairs you can do. Looking all the way to front door. There's so many like it. It's really kind of annoying. All right, so they have a Thatcher, but PETA decided to actually nade the drone hole. There's really no need to do this. You could probably just double Thatcher grenade and then just open up the wall. You usually want to double Thatcher, especially when they're playing Cade, um, as you don't want them to Cade trick. But it doesn't matter. Rude's going to get taken out by a Claymore. He's going to jump out the library window, and he's dead. I don't know what he's trying to do, pushing out as Maestro. Kai's going to take a lot of damage to you. I believe he was trying to mute trick, which is something that you... I don't know, like realistically, you're not going to be able to pull that off, especially when they've got PETA on nades and Bubby on the Thatcher. Just, it's really not going to happen. But that's going to be Rude finally getting taken out from that Claymore now. Looks like we actually have Death Dealer pushing into the backside right now, and he's got a suppressor on. This could be deadly for the orange team. I don't think any of them knows. He's going to walk straight into sight, but it's not going to matter. Pull up was watching it. He's going to get taken out. Pull up on about 80 HP. I still about half HP right now. The attackers desperately looking to figure out what they should be doing here. A common gold strat that you see everybody outside the front garage doing absolutely nothing. This is this is what you've seen on Chalet for years. You've seen this on Chalet since day one. All the bad players or like low ranking players, they'll all sit outside the garage and not do much of anything. And this, the reason this is really bad is because everyone's trying to hold like the same angles. And if the defenders are smart, which pull up is absolutely not, they won't peek. Avudi going to take out pull up for that. Small with the refrag though onto PETA. So there goes your sludge. 2v3 now. And honestly, the blue team is just hoping at this point that the orange team swings. That's the only way they win. And swing they are doing. Small trying to quick peek onto Bubby right now. Bubby holding this angle though. If if small swing, surely he's dead right now. The 2.0 versus a hollow. Surely there's no way they win. 30 seconds left. As soon as I say that, Bubby, the kill on a small. Like I said, man, the, the orange team wins this 100% of the time if they just don't peek. That's going to be the push in though. Avudi, Fikaboos running in right now. He's going to take out Thunderbird. Wow, that took a lot of shots. He's a little bit lost on where Kai was. He was just sitting inside of that uh, connector closet here. But yeah, man. The 
Blue team definitely needed to find a different way to push into the map. Everybody trying to push into the same breach is not the right way to play that. All right, round number three. The orange team is up 2-0. Not a great start for the blue team whatsoever. It looks like the trend that we saw last map on Oregon is once again unfolding here on Chalet. Pull up with the Capkin. Very interesting decision by him. I actually really like it as well. Hayden on the Vigil. That's something interesting. You don't see that every day. At least not on the higher elo. And I like to see that as well, to be honest with you. Castle's going to be swinging. That's rude. Just an ill-advised swing. Bubby looks like he's a little bit surprised that he even got that kill. But he's going to take out rude right there gonna drop down so you can drop the diffuser for the rest of his team now looks like they're definitely gonna be trying to do some sort of a games library take which is interesting i don't know how well they're gonna be able to pull it off it looks like the orange team really isn't holding library so this could end up working out for them they do have to worry about hayden who's playing upstairs by mezzanine but we'll see how they end up handling that they're definitely not gonna be able to push in through games at all as they have got a mirror window right on the window and that Flores drone surely does absolutely nothing. Yeah, if anything, that gave Mira a better line of sight around the map. Um, as I say that, though, death deal with the kill on the Hades. So there goes your vigil. 5v3. The blue team definitely looking a lot stronger this round than they have the previous rounds. Mirror windows are still up, though. So they're going to have to figure out a way to clear that. Capcan traps coming out. Death deal are going to take about half of his HP because of that. So it looks like Pita is going to be trying to sledge open above that mirror window. Smart decision by him. A minute and 30. Definitely the blue team being a lot more efficient with their time compared to last round. You'd love to see it. Already huge improvements. But right now we see a Voody as well as Chomper inside of the little mud room here. And they're going to be trying to push in. But there's a mirror window directly on their line of sight. Not only inside of games, but also here in the hallway where Polip is playing. So it's going to be very difficult for them to push into. Avudi does have flashbang, so they could potentially like flashbang this and try to push in, but that's going to be Chopper getting taken out. There's a double mirror on them. Like I said, just because you take out one mirror, there's still another. But that's going to be a 4v2 now for, wow, 3v2 now as Ch uh, Death Beetle hits another Capcom trap. He's going to get Finca boosted up though, but he's on such low HP. He's got to be careful he didn't hit another trap or he is dead. It's all up to Kai and Small on the smoke and mirror. Another Capcom trap being hit right now wow pull up the goat on capkin he's gonna do a lot of damage on to pita about half of his hp avudi's trying to push in but there's still this mirror window he's got to be worried about like i said you've got to clear this mirror window so gonna try to push in but he's gonna get taken out Pita gonna drop that's gonna be a lot of damage onto our smoke player kai he has no smokes left small still playing on the window behind you smoke oh my goodness i'll be gonna get taken out triple kill for small Get the shotgun out. They're pushing your hallway. A kill, a quad kill. But Peter's going to turn the corner just in time. That's the blue team winning round number three. Oh my God, that was tense at the end. Came down to the wire. All right, it looks like Hayden's going to be trying to push in through bathroom here, but he's going to have to face Chomper, who's right here in Solarium right now. So we'll see how that goes down. But actually, it's not going to go down at all. As Rude just walks up the stairs and takes him out. That's going to be the first kill for the orange team onto Chomper. I'll be taking huge amounts of damage as well. He's going to be put to about 20 HP right now. I'm not even sure how that even happened right now. Ace charge is coming out. That's going to be... Who is that? Small opening up the wall onto uh, Office right now. Death with a nice kill onto Root, I believe. That's going to be your knock. Finally getting taken out right now. I'll be actually trying to push into Mezzanine and peek the, the Ace who's on the wall. But he's going to get taken out by Pita. Unfortunate for the Ace player. Looks like the rest of the orange team is trying to push in through library here. But as we talked about this time management, there's a minute left in the round and they're just now entering library. This cannot ever happen. A minute left and you're just now entering the building. You've got to be more efficient than that on attack. I'll be hearing the drone. He's going to try to push in and, and try to get some kills here. C4 coming out. Is that going to do anything? Not quite. That C4 is a little bit closer. It actually would have killed pull up as he's on about one HP right now. Kai trying to push in and take the angle, but... Not going to happen. Death Dealer actually pushing up the main stairs right now. He's going to get the kill onto pull up. And Kai with the refrag. Bubby still close though. Kai's got to be careful about this. Bubby just proning. You're making so much noise, Bubby. You can't move this much. You're going to get destroyed for that. And that's going to be the pre-fire. Exactly like I said. You can't make that much noise. It's all up to our copper player, Avudi, in the 1v2 here. 30 seconds left. He could definitely win this. Hayden with the bomb on the canine balcony. He's going to hop in and try to plant probably on the wall right here. Swing came out from Avudi. 
No damage, though. Hayden's going to walk back out onto the canine balcony, but a swing from Piano. That's going to be Kai with the kill. Golds win round four. Or the gold orange team wins round four. <laughs> All right, it's been a minute since we've done a scoreboard check. So taking a look, it is currently one to three for the blue team. I'll be on top, five and four. Death Dealer, four and three. Avudi all the way in fourth place, two and four right now. So not as hot of a game, but it's still doing better than Chomper. That's going to be the first kill on the Chomper from Pull Up, who I believe just pushed down the main stairs right there. Not even sure how he got away with that. He's just able to walk down the main stairs and get a free kill. And it looks like he might be trying to do it again just with the blue stairs this time. He's going to be peeking Bubby. He finger boosted as he peeked, though. Critical mistake. You never finger boost as you peek. It un-ADSs you. Not a smart move by him. He's going to get taken out by Bubby. So 4v4 now. Once again, we see this strat where everyone's outside of the garage. Nothing really happening once again. Everyone kind of just fighting for the same three angles. And most likely not much will get done. It's going to come down to small here. He's going to be pushing into the backside. If he's able to get a couple big kills, this could be huge for the blue team here. But it looks like, well, my is close. That's not going to matter because he's not paying attention. Two big kills for small. He's going to walk straight into the backside. And that's actually going to be, uh, wow, triple kill for small. Bubby sending no chance right there. Like I said, it's all going to come down to small here. He gets a big 4K, 3K. I don't even know what it was. Hayden with the last kill on the death dealer. Absolute domination from the ace right there. GG's. That's going to be the orange team winning it out against the blue team. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Avudi went 2-5 and five that game. Bubby on top going 6-5. and five. Let me know if you guys think that Avudi deserves gold or at least a higher rank than copper. Let me know down in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribe if you're new, and thank you so much for watching.